Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we're going to talk about something that is literally essential when it comes to relationships and that is compatibility and for whatever reason so many of us get into relationships with people that we are not compatible with and oftentimes we don't even recognize the fact that we're not compatible and we're trying to force something to fit that is just not going to fit so how to tell when you are compatible and like the things to look out for i feel like first of all is are you friends like would you be friends with them even if there was no romantic thing there could you see yourself just being friends with them would you call them up if there was a problem would you like go out somewhere with them just as a friend would, like is there a friendship there is there that kind of being on the same wave because oftentimes we look to our friends and family and we see whether there's compatibility there on a friendship level but when it comes to a ro romantic relationship we immediately go to romance and immediately go to whether they're attentive or not but we don't look at whether they're a good friend like are they kind to you are they thoughtful are they helpful you know like all of the basic foundational things that any kind of friendship needs sometimes we ignore or brush over that and look past that and we go directly towards the romance and whether they're like hugging you enough or something you know <laughs> so I feel like it's very very key to pay attention to whether you're mentally on the same wave whether your morals and your values are on the same wave do you perceive life in the same way are you heading in the same direction like do you want the same things there's so many questions that you can ask to see whether you're compatible with somebody and this doesn't just go for romantic relationships this is the same as family the same as friends you can ask yourself these questions as well but we have to um discern and use our intuition to feel into whether they're actually on our wave or whether we're projecting and hoping and wishing that they will be or whether we're feeling like we can change them and make them become what we want and what we need you know but really you have to look at who they're actually being who they actually are and see whether that's in alignment with you like the things that they do on a daily basis the words that they say where they go like the places that they go to the friends they have around them how their family behaves and the dynamic between them like their relationship with their family what is that like and is anything there that you don't like is anything there that makes you feel uncomfortable makes you feel anxious or that just doesn't feel right or doesn't feel good you know like you have to look at all of these areas to see whether you're compatible and obviously nobody is perfect so there's gonna be things that you don't like there's gonna be things that you want to improve on and that you want them to improve on but are they open to improving you know like are they seeking self-awareness are they seeking to improve themselves not for you but for themselves are they working on themselves are they doing their shadow work and really ask yourself these questions and look at your relationship with them and look at their behaviors and their thoughts and see whether that is actually happening or whether it's not and also it's also important to look at yourself and what you're doing because I feel like if you don't know yourself how are you going to know if anyone's compatible with you so you need to look at yourself and get to know yourself and understand what your morals are what your values are what you want out of life which direction you're going in because how are you going to know if they're going in the same direction as you if you don't even know where you're going you know like you have to know yourself as well or at least be seeking to understand yourself at least be on that process and path of trying to do that you know so looking at yourself and what you're doing and what you want and then looking at them and their behavior and their patterns their habits to understand what they're doing and then does what they're doing feel good to you does it feel okay does it feel inspiring does it feel empowering and uplifting does it feel exciting and make you want to see them or interact with them or ask how they are you know like 
How does it feel when you're around them? How does it feel when you think about your future with them? How does it feel? essentially like literally feel into it because your intuition and your emotions are gonna tell you exactly how it feels and exactly how you think about it so yeah it's a level of self-awareness and then also a level of discernment to be able to look at the external for what it is rather than projecting onto it and I also want to say that if something feels off or something feels um like if there's doubt there and you're not sure whether you're going in the right direction, a conversation can happen. Like you need to have the conversation to try and figure this out. But at the end of the day, if there's just lots of different things that don't feel good and that you don't like and you can't get on the same page and you're trying to communicate and it's not making it any better, then maybe you're just not compatible. Maybe it's just not in alignment. And maybe you were in the past, but now it's drifted apart. And there's nothing wrong with that because all of us go through those kind of moments where we realise that we're actually heading in different directions even though we weren't beforehand, you know, because our paths are not linear, it's not a straight line, it goes around and we take detours and sometimes we like to learn the hard way and all of these kind of things. So you might not be um, in alignment with everybody that you were a few years ago, especially if you're on a spiritual um, self-discovery kind of journey like when you're doing that you're going to lose a lot of people and you're going to have to let go of a lot of people but you're also going to be able to step into so much abundance like more abundance than you've ever seen before so it's really really important to acknowledge and accept and embrace the fact that maybe you're not compatible with certain people and it's okay to let them go because you don't lose anything by letting them go. You gain so, so much because you're allowing the old to leave with love, like you're letting it go with love and being grateful for those memories, but so, so much more can come in and the more that does come in will be things that are in alignment and things that you actually want. So, it's really important to pay attention to whether you're compatible with people because oftentimes we cling to people that we are not compatible with and then it just creates so much chaos and destruction and heartache and sadness. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week and you can check out the description box below for all links to my music, my phone number, my social media, my jewellery brand Elemental Mirror. I'm wearing my necklace and yeah, everything else about me is in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say